DSLR. Damn, Damn DSLRs. Damn, They're son. Becoming dinosaurs now. <laughs> When's the last time you saw a DSLR on set? Like used for like film production. Like not just for BTS, like yeah. photography. Yeah, I yeah, don't know. Video. I haven't seen one in a long time. I think at this point, a couple of years now. They're phasing out for sure. They are phasing out for sure. I, I mean, I used them for. I used the 1DX with Savannah. Yeah, which is cool, dude. Perfect example of the painter, not the paintbrush, mm -hmm. because you see all these 1DX videos on YouTube demoing the video capabilities of the 1DX, and yeah. you know that's cool. Still looks like you know. 8-bit DSLR footage, which is fine if that's what your story is and yeah. that's what it calls for, but if your footage from the 1DX, when I saw that, I was like, okay, that yeah. game's over. Where Definitely. am I? That's, that's the, what that's, year is it? That's the one frustrating thing for me as well is that I'll, like us both, I think, we'll always try to find gear videos, we'll always yeah. try to find camera videos, lens videos or anything, and then we'll see the videos and honestly, like a lot of them just are not that impressive, so yeah. it's hard. It's hard for me to make a judgment call yeah. on that. Boom! It's funny you mentioned that uh, because on our second channel, Ismahawk TV, we have a series called Hawk Scout, and we were just talking about um, full frame options for videographers, cinematographers, or any filmmakers who just want to start getting into this kind of career. And one of the biggest points we talked about is that you can use any camera you want. It's you just need to spend time to learn where mm -hmm. its limits are so you can work around them. So if your only deciding factor on a certain tool is the fact that it doesn't do this or it doesn't do that, then you're just not looking at the right perspective because you can get your tools to do anything you want. You just need to figure it out and learn the limits. Yeah, I feel like that, I mean, obviously there's such a big learning curve with all cameras or mm -hmm. all, all, all kinds of gear. Yeah, just all equipment in general too. And even with my camera, I didn't start getting decent, decent images until a couple months until uh, yeah, after owning exactly. it. So a lot of people like going back to the widgetry thing, like people will pick up a piece of gear thinking that it'll automatically be better, or automatically yeah. be um, a raised production value, yeah. but when really there's one, there's a learning curve, and also it's the it's the painter, not the papers mm -hmm. too. So funny. Um, what was it? All all of the CW shows that are being shot in Vancouver, um, the superhero shows like The Flash, Arrow, uh, Supergirl, they're all shot in the area Alexa. And guess what else is shot on the Alexa? Game of Thrones. No. Yeah. Look at those shows. Look at Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. Like what? Do every. Yeah, I think every single movie for the past five years that have been nominated for the uh, Academy Award for Cinematography have been shot on the Alexa. And then you have stuff that are also shot on the Alexa that don't... Right. Like, the, the gap is big. Yeah. It's a painter, not the paintbrush. So, um, riding on, back on the train of uh, film school, what do you think are some like good substitutions for film school? Because like, we also talked about, obviously, separating the good knowledge from the bad, and one start with that was kind of just kind of understanding the science behind it, but mm -hmm. what, what do you think are some good alternatives and substitutions for actually physically going to film school? So the technical side of things uh, for film making in general is you can just watch any, like Vimeo, Vimeo Film School, Rocket Jump Film School, any of those channels like Film Riot can teach you anything you want to know about filmmaking itself. And then branching from there, if you don't understand a certain term, if you want to understand another concept more clearly, just search that on Google and you can get plenty of web pages and resources to learn from. But the thing is, if you don't have that structure and that discipline in your life, you're not going to go anywhere because you control where you want to go. You control your future and your destiny. And that is just up to you. Mm -hmm. That's where the fun gets. Yeah, that like, lies with you. you. That's where you get in the nitty gritty. <laughs> Talk to me, I want to talk about um, kind of experience. Um, so in, in at, at least at UNLV, I think all of the syllabi have a clause that state that um, taking production jobs is not an excuse for missing class. And I yeah. just wanted to get your kind of take on that. Yeah, well, I completely agree. Because if you're paying for your classes, you're paying to be there. So if you miss it, that's on you. But if you're missing it because you're taking a production job, that's your choice. It's not an excuse, but it's all up to you deciding what you want to do. If you want to go shoot, go shoot. Like our professor says, Waldman, he says, if you want to go shoot, go shoot. Don't pay for the class just to miss it. 
But if you're gonna be here, then you be here. Like, be present and learn and be open to it. And it really, like, it comes down to the fact that do you, do you personally need film school? If you don't, then don't go. That's fine. Like, everyone has their own choice. Everyone has their own path. So it's, I think what I'm trying to say is it's your choice. If you want to work and you have the opportunity to go work already, then go work. Nothing's better than learning on the job, you know? Like, gain, gaining experience firsthand because that's how you're going to figure it out yourself. But if you want to go to film school to teach yourself principles and discipline, then go. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's a good point. And I, I'll ask you, do you feel that going through film school kind of gave you a... Uh, um, a leg up? I'm trying to think of... Not, not so much a leg up, but I'm, I'm wanna, I want to more touch on um, like onset experience. Like, you know, onset. like, do you feel that film school is... So film school is a place for you to make mistakes and so that you're not making mistakes on another company's dime, you know, which is a good thing too. Um, and that's where you can try out different things and see what works for you and what doesn't. So the biggest thing that a lot of people say about film school is like, go to network. Guess who I'm talking to right now? Where did I meet you? you where did I meet you guys? You know? Everybody in this room. <laughs> yeah, everyone in this entire room. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So if you want to network, if you want to sit, go into film school, you're just surrounding yourself with like-minded people who want to do the same thing that you do, you know? So if you want to go to film school for that, then cool. That's all you need to do. Yeah, I think that, that was actually one of the biggest reasons also, one for the parents, but also my kind of main motivation for that was to network with people um, because like you said, there is a lot of nepotism involved in this industry. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the jobs I get, I, I would not have gotten if it weren't for people that I've networked with. And yeah, exactly. that is such an, an important aspect. And um, it's, I feel that I, I don't know, I'm kind of, mm -hmm. I'm kind of secluded in my own little world sometimes, but I, I think I would have a really hard time struggling trying to network on my own, you mm -hmm. know? And I feel like film school, it literally forces you to do that, to, yeah. to work with but people. But also don't forget, it's what you do with that networking that matters. Right. Because you can't just meet someone, shake their hand and give you, or give them your card and not do anything about it after, because mm -hmm. then that's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, surrounding, yeah. Surrounding yourself with like-minded people that do good work mm -hmm. is really important.